bring us up to speed on what Madame Lagarde's biggest challenge will be. You are on the sidelines. You are removed from the ECB. What will be the challenge for the new president of the European Central Bank? Well, it's not really for me to pass a detailed judgment on what the ECB is supposed to do and not supposed to do. But, I mean, there are two parts of it. One is, of course, as always, when you deal with monetary policy, the macro picture and the judgment that they have to pass on that side. And the other part is, uh, in one way or the other, uh, struggling through various issues with the European banking sector because uh, uh, the European banking sector has a hard time um, restructuring itself, and that has been going on for a ten, more than 10 years or so, and the work isn't over yet. Um, Governor, there's a huge debate about the interplay between fiscal and monetary policy. How difficult is it being a central banker today? It's hard for me to tell because I haven't been a central banker during a different age. So, but I mean, that's, uh, that's part of the conversation. But we also have to keep in mind that uh, when we're discussing the macro picture today, we aren't really uh, discussing a very, very serious recession. And it's during a very serious recession that probably fiscal policy would have to come into the picture as well. But, but we're talking about trade and trade turmoil, which is so difficult to gauge. It seems that we're getting positive movement. But how do you interpret these trade tensions? Are they going to alleviate? I mean, it's very difficult for me to pass judgment on that. But coming from a small open economy with the exports, imports being 50 percent of GDP, this is, of course, stuff that really, really matters, uh, matters to us. But uh, we, we, we can only watch from the sidelines. And we are free traders. That's how we make a living. And from that perspective, a trade war is a really bad thing. Uh, Governor, Governor Ingves, the Swedish bank has a wonderful heritage of fighting crisis and fighting crisis with courage. We hearken back to the early 1990s for when you really did original theory, original action on policy. Are we close to the kind of crises that you faced in the 19, uh, early 1990s? No, 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 not, a, not at all. It's a completely different environment now. And to maybe oversimplify is to say the following. In the early 90s, uh, the rest of the world was OK. We were definitely not OK. Right now, there are all sorts of issues outside of the Swedish economy, but we are actually, in an economic sense, uh, pretty much OK, except for our housing market. So the circumstances are quite, quite different. Tell me about the divide between economists and commercial bankers. We have an experiment of negative rates. We have an experiment of very negative real rates and low nominal rates. What is the impact on commercial banking in Sweden? Well, so far, the, the Swedish banking sector has been and continues to be highly profitable. And that's probably because they have a cost level which is by far much lower than in other parts of, other parts of Europe. So despite the low rates, uh, uh, this hasn't really that dramatically affect, affected our banks. Uh, what would, uh, you know, we keep on talking about some kind of fiscal monetary policy duo coming together. What would that exactly look like? It's just impossible to tell ex ante. It really depends on what's going on in the global economy and in, from my perspective, of course, in the, in the Swedish, uh, Swedish economy. Ultimately, what really, really matters if things were really to go wrong in terms of what happens to, to the economy is how do you go about putting money in the hands of those who are very most likely to spend it and spend it immediately? And whether that is monetary policy, or fiscal policy or some combination of both. That really depends on the circumstances and uh, what you need to do at that juncture. But do you see language changing? Are politicians much more aware what they sh would need to do to step in? Keep in mind, let's keep in mind that we have had an incredibly good run for many, many years. So that, that doesn't seem to be an issue for the day. But I think that there is <clears throat> more awareness of it now than, than, let's say, five years ago or 10 years ago. Because, I mean, we've had a negative police rate since uh, 2015, and it's obvious that if you have to go negative, there is a limit to how negative you can go.